step back into the television landscape of the late 1950s and you'll find Bonanza, a series that not only shaped the Western genre but also left an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers. As we delve into the world of the Cartwright family and the sprawling Ponderosa Ranch, it prompts reflection on a simple yet compelling question. Is there a particular scene or moment in this timeless series that has had a lasting impact on you? For many, Bonanza is more than just a television show. It's a source of inspiration and connection. Can you share a personal story of how this series has inspired or impacted your life? Perhaps it was the tales of the Cartwrights that ignited a love for Westerns, or maybe it served as a backdrop for cherished family moments. The impact of television extends beyond the screen, and Bonanza holds a special place in the hearts of its audience. Now, let's set the stage for a journey into some captivating facts about the show. Did you know that Bonanza was the first series to be broadcast entirely in color? This pioneering move added a vibrant dimension to the lives of its viewers, marking a significant milestone in television history. As we explore further, you will discover the show's enduring legacy and the cultural impact it left in its wake. As we unravel the threads of nostalgia and delve into the legacy of Bonanza, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below and let the spirit of the Ponderosa Ranch come alive in the collective tales of its admirers. Crafting the narrative of Bonanza involves more than recounting episodes. It involves weaving personal connections and lasting impressions. Join us in celebrating this television classic and the memories it has etched in the hearts of its viewers. Bonanza, an iconic television series that debuted in 1959, quickly carved its place in the annals of Western television history. Created by David Dortort, the show unfolded against the backdrop of the sprawling Ponderosa Ranch, portraying the lives of the Cartwright family. Led by patriarch Ben Cartwright, portrayed by Lorne Green, the family navigated the challenges of the untamed Wild West, offering a unique blend of drama, action, and moral lessons. The Cartwrights, each with distinct personalities, included sons Adam, Haas, and little Joe, played by Pernell Roberts, Dan Blocker, and Michael Landon, respectively. The series not only showcased their familial bonds, but also explored complex themes of justice, morality, and the clash between progress and tradition. Bonanza stood out for its lush, outdoor cinematography, a departure from the typical indoor sets of its time. This distinctive style, coupled with strong character development, contributed to its enduring popularity and success, making it a trailblazer in the Western genre. The impact of Bonanza on popular culture endures through its influence on subsequent Western series and its lasting resonance in the hearts of viewers, capturing the essence of an era on the small screen. In the early days of Bonanza, a significant disparity in pay marked the first season. Surprisingly, guest stars were paid more than the main cast, as producers doubted the latter's ability to attract viewers. This unconventional approach, driven by a belief in the power of storytelling over star power, set the tone for the series. Pernell Roberts, known for his Shakespearean prowess on stage, brought a unique flavor to the show. Before stepping into the role of Adam Cartwright, Roberts advocated for more adult themes and the inclusion of interracial actors. His influence materialized in the sixth season's episode, Woman of Fire, a clever parody of Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. This marked a departure from the typical Western fare, showcasing Roberts' commitment to pushing boundaries. Behind the scenes, Daisy Arnaz, a visionary producer, challenged conventional wisdom. In American Archives interviews, both David Dortort and Haskell Bobbs revealed that Arnaz deliberately chose unknown actors over established stars. The clash with NBC executives, who favored star names, proved Arna's right. Bonanza triumphed in the Nielsen ratings, establishing itself as a groundbreaking series driven by storytelling prowess rather than celebrity status. This strategic move not only defied industry norms, but also cemented Bonanza's place in television history. The series, born out of a conviction in the power of narrative, transcended expectations, captivating audiences, and reshaping the landscape of Western television. In the early casting stages of the iconic TV series, the role of little Joe Cartwright almost went to Robert Blake or Robert Fuller. 
Producer David Dortort initially hesitated about casting Michael Landon, finding him too young for the part. However, a change of heart occurred when Dortort's wife, inspired by a publicity still of Landon, convinced him to give the role to the then unfamiliar actor. This decision marked a crucial turning point in the show's development, setting the stage for Landon's portrayal of Little Joe and contributing to the series' enduring success. As the show progressed, a notable intersection with another iconic series unfolded. Anansa featured several guest appearances by actors who would later become famous in Star Trek, including William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly, James Doohan, George Takei, Nichelle Nichols, Grace Lee Whitney, Majel Barrett, and Walter Koenig. This crossover not only added a unique dimension to Bonanza, but also showcased the interconnected nature of television in that era. Behind the scenes, interpersonal dynamics played a significant role. Pernell Roberts, who portrayed Adam Cartwright, was not particularly popular among co-stars and crew. Known for his discontent with the show's quality, Roberts rarely interacted with fellow actors, as attested by Michael Landon and confirmed by creator, producer David Dortort in interviews with television archives. Despite the challenges, the cast's chemistry, and the decision to cast Michael Landon as Little Joe contributed to Bonanza's enduring legacy. In the complex world of television production, casting decisions, and unexpected crossovers, Bonanza emerged as a trailblazer in the Western genre. The show's ability to overcome initial doubts about casting choices and create lasting connections with other iconic series highlights its resilience and impact on the television landscape of its time. During the Paramount Studios shoot of a particular episode, Lorne Green, who played Ben Cartwright, had an unexpected encounter with a water tank stunt. Required to jump off a ship, Green's hairpiece decided to take a solo voyage floating on the water's surface after he went under. Co-stars Michael Landon and Dan Blocker observed the spectacle. After a minute, Green's hand emerged, snatched the errant hairpiece, and he emerged from the tank with his hair slightly askew, nonchalantly walking past the snickering crew into his trailer. This behind-the-scenes incident offers a glimpse into the lighter moments during the filming of the show, showcasing the camaraderie among the cast and the unexpected challenges they faced. Despite the serious themes explored in Bonanza, such anecdotes highlight the human side of the iconic TV series, revealing the resilience and humor that contributed to its enduring success. As we bid adieu to the tales of the Ponderosa and the echoing hoofbeats on the vast Nevada landscape, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and contemporary musings. The 1959 television series, an odyssey that whisked us away to the untamed West, leaves behind a trail of memories etched in the collective consciousness. As you ponder the rich tapestry woven by the Cartwrights, it's a moment to reflect on your personal journey with this iconic show. Perhaps it's the enduring camaraderie of the brothers or the moral compass guiding the ranch through tumultuous times. What resonates with you in this bygone era of black and white storytelling? What lessons linger in the sepia-toned corners of your mind? Whether you're a seasoned aficionado or a newcomer intrigued by the allure of the Wild West, your thoughts are the missing piece to this narrative puzzle. Share your reflections, your fondest moments, and the lessons learned under the open sky of Bonanza's universe. Let your words dance like embers around a campfire, connecting us through the timeless magic of storytelling. In this shared dialogue, we celebrate the threads that tie us to the Cartwrights and the indelible mark left by this masterpiece. Your contribution transforms the closing chapter into a vibrant tapestry of diverse perspectives proving that the spirit of the Ponderosa lives on in the hearts of its audience. Thank you for riding alongside us through the sunsets and showdowns, for embracing the spirit of the West that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Your journey is now part of the ever-expanding legacy, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Unearth your memories, lasso your thoughts, and share them with us as we bid farewell to the Ponderosa, leaving an indelible mark on the horizon of our collective memory.